Now I'm on the second half of the altar and I've got the background cleared out here and now I'm starting to do the halos around the saints. So this has been cut down and then I've outlined the face by using, you know, uh, stop cuts along those lines. And I'll do a few cuts. And this is a little interesting in that it has a, his Padre hat. So you can see I used a smaller tool when I was doing some finishing, but I'm using the larger tool to make sure I get the waste, if you will, out from the piece. And one of the things I did is, since this halo goes around, I drew lines from the center of the face outwards and so each of those lines then become the radiant lines of the halo. And I'm using a number five sweep. get closer to something that I want to make sure is going to cut correctly and then I go back to my smaller chisel which also is a number five just happens to be a smaller number five the largest collection of tools that I have are number fives and number threes and I have them in quite a varied options. Some of them are fishtail, some of them are palm tools, some of them are medium tools. They're all essentially the same, a uh, different sizes but the same sweep sweep being the edge that's here so these are number fives this is a number three and both of these are number ones they're straight edges And this little part of the hat 
there's like a, a little line you know how you have a line in the hat and that pulls up uh, the edges of the brim and So it presents a little bit of a difference in terms of going around because instead of just doing a straight halo, boom, 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 I've got these pieces that are stretching into the halo that I have to pay attention to. And they are going to give me different depths and depths of cut. So these are going to have a little bit of rounded edges on it. And okay, so I'm going to change my table uh, so that I can then cut in in this direction. I mean, I can, but I want to be able to do it a little bit more direct on.
my wood was going to split <clears throat> had I not had the stop cuts here it just would have split all the way down and that's why you outline it first with your stop cuts and then come in with your regular cuts So what you are doing is you're setting the depth and that's going to be the depth of how deep that is and so you have about what seven eighths of an inch Almost. Okay. So. So that sets the depth of the cut out here which then is the depth of the cut of the halo. So the, the, as far down as this is, we're gonna go down, as far down here around the face. And then that's the amount of depth that you have in which to carve the face. And I go like this, but it's really only about the thickness, of, you know, like thickness of your thumb, which is about seven eighths. And seven eighths isn't bad, it's a, almost an inch. So I think I'll uh, switch to the uh, time-lapse thing and you can watch the rest of the carving be done. <laughs> 